What is up guys? It's Sandra. I'm back with another video. This video is going to be uh, what I eat in a day because the doctor's giving the medicine but I wanted to do something for my own health because I can't do anything about the chemo that I'm getting. So I decided to change my diet up a little bit. For my breakfast, I had a smoothie that you will see and I will explain. Um, it is cottage cheese, flax oil, and raspberries. And that sounds like a gross combination, but it has its benefits. And I just wanted to explain what some of those are. So it improves your cellular health. It improves circulation and supports your heart health. It supports cognitive health. When you mix the cottage cheese with the flax oil, the cottage cheese is no longer a dairy product, so if you're lactose intolerant, it will not bug your stomach. The diet or the protocol that my smoothie came from is called the Budwig Diet, and it is used for strokes, heart attacks, stomach ulcers, eczema, arthritis, and immune deficiencies. So even if it's just the placebo effect of the smoothie that I want to get out of this to help get rid of my cancer it does still have many benefits that i could use later on in the future if i keep drinking this smoothie this website medical news today um some research does suggest that flaxseed may fight cancer for example a study published in cancer prevention research journal shows that mice were fed flax mice that were fed flaxseed had reduced numbers of new lung tumors compared with mice that were fed a diet without flaxseed and my hair has started to grow a lot, so the flaxseed oil does help with that too. Um, that is a plus. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will have my GoFundMe still linked in the description. Now let's get on into the video. Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to be filming uh, what I eat in a day, and the first thing that I have this morning my dad just brought me it's like 9 30 I have an appointment at 10 30 so I have to get my juice and my smoothie which I will explain what that is later but I have to drink this just plug your nose so you don't taste it but it's just a celery juice I drink it with a straw because for me it goes down easier but one of the main things for your Health is all of the green stuff that nobody likes eating, so I drink it instead because it's easier for me that way. Nectar has a celery cleanse, and my dad wanted to try it. Those are so expensive, and we have a juicer, so he just juiced it himself. Um, I will see you when I have my next thing to eat. Okay, so I'm drinking this right now, and it's like halfway gone. If you plug your nose and drink this, it just tastes like water, but then... When you unplug your nose, you taste all the celery, and I'm going to have the taste of celery in my mouth all day. But hopefully this is worth it because this is what I contribute to my own health because the doctors give me the medicine and I can't do anything about that. But there's all sorts of different things on the internet that you can find of like diets and everything and with all the research that me and my dad have done, we've agreed on a healthier diet for me of not eating candy and soft pretzels and top ramen every day because that's basically what I was doing. So we're to celery water now, I guess. Ignore the mess of my bed. I didn't make it when I woke up this morning, but I am drinking my smoothie right now and it's not it's like halfway gone and I have to leave in 10 minutes and it takes me so long to drink this really full. Um, and this is my breakfast, so that's good. I'll be full until lunchtime. But before I leave, I wanted to show you the vitamins that I take every morning. So I took two of these digestive enzymes, two wellness multivitamins. So it has all the different vitamins that I need for the day in it. And then... I took one C buckthorn. Um, all of these things just help, like, with if I had side effects of chemo, it would help with that. And then to get all of my vitamins in that I need more of now that I'm going through these different medications. 
and then the last one that i take one of is for my heart and it's coq10 and it helps because chemo can do damage to your heart those are all the vitamins that i take i'm gonna finish my smoothie i have an ekg which they check like the rate that my heart beats and everything i have that at 10 30 and it's like 10 i'm supposed to leave like right now and i haven't finished my smoothie yet so we'll see how that goes and i'll see you when i have my next snack or my next meal i have cut all artificial sugar out of my diet and i used to drink a lot of soda like dr pepper and root beer and everything i don't drink soda no sprite or anything no lemonade but i do have a coffee every morning but instead of using normal milk i use almond milk and it tastes the same and i don't even get the vanilla one i just get the original one and then i put two stevias in my coffee for a sweetener and a little bit of vanilla and then i take it in one of these cups to wherever i'm going i just got home from my appointment that i had for my ekg and my ultrasound so that they check how my heart is dealing with the chemo and the rate that my heart is beating because the chemo could affect your heart and they need to know if it does but i was starving and i got a snack i have my popcorn and it's the skinny pop like sea salt popcorn so that it doesn't have all the extra butter and fat and everything in it and then i have some strawberries and carrots because that's just what sounded good to me at the time and I'm going to take a shower and then after my shower, I'll drink my green juice, which will be what you guys see next. It is 1.42 p.m. and I am drinking a green juice with, I wrote down the ingredients, orange, lemon, parsley, kale, spinach, cucumber, green apple, and carrots. And then I have a protein cookie, but I'm only eating half of it. So there's my green juice, my alkaline water, and then my protein cookie, which I'm only eating half of it because it has 16 grams of protein in it. That is lunch. So I'm now eating my last meal of the day, and that is dinner, and I'm having teriyaki chicken with fried potatoes and broccoli, but right now I just have my chicken. So this is what it looks like. It's really gross, but it tastes really good. It's just teriyaki sauce from Rumbies, and then my dad grilled some chicken. My potatoes just got done, and my mom just put them with butter on a pan and then salt and pepper. Super yummy. And then um, I will not be showing my broccoli, but I am having broccoli with these also. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And I hope you enjoyed seeing sort of a day in my life and what I eat in my day.